I really didn't like the movie that came out in 2005, but everything that I see on like the DC animated films has me liking the character a little bit more. We're talking Constantine, and this is the fourth topic of the day from ScreenRant.com. DC's Constantine TV show reportedly eyeing Sope Derusu, Der, Derusu for the lead role. And my brother, if I'm butchering your name, I do apologize. And again, guys, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link down to this article in the description box for you to read at your own leisure. HBO Max's Constantine show may have found its leading hero as Sope Dirisu is reportedly being eyed for the J.J. Abrams produced DC series. The Constantine reboot may have led is reportedly being eyed for the lead role of the HBO Max drama. For the last couple of years, John Constantine has been an active player in the DC live action world through Matt Ryan. After his NBC series got canceled after only one season, Matt Ryan's iteration of the character became a regular player in the Arrowverse, primarily on Legends of Tomorrow. Ryan has also gone on to voice Constantine in multiple DC animated projects over the years. And again, this is going to be uh, taken uh, up by J.J. Abrams, or he, at least he's producing it. Now, like I said, Elliot, and everybody listening, um, I did like John Constantine in Legends of Tomorrow. I did check a few episodes out on that show, and I did enjoy that character. Um, and also, like the article says, I enjoyed him and all the DC animated projects. The other NBC series I did not watch. Mm -hmm. And I did not like this film right here. Uh, yeah. I don't think anybody <laughs> liked it. Uh, you know, Constantine it's would a guilty with, pleasure for some people I know. Yeah, I, I, and, and also, <laughs> how, what do you think about all this, man? Does it get you excited? And also, it's a black. The character's always known as white. And yeah, he's, yeah, he's black. Uh, uh, um, a, a race uh, swap there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, what, I mean, what do you make of it? So, yeah, John Constantine, uh, more, you know, being a fan of DC, this, this definitely dives deeper into the the darker side of the DC, like the Justice League Dark and all those characters. Hopefully, I don't know, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but, you know, maybe this points towards getting that more uh, mystical side of the DC universe, Zatanna and characters like that. But I will speak to uh, the, this gentleman um, as an actor. I've only seen one project of his. I know he's part of Gangs in New uh, London, which I know is a... Um, uh, a hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of drama uh, which is made by the same guy that did the raid so I think he can ha handle his own when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat which is great to know but then that film over there uh, his house on Netflix that was a film that that got me on his radar a fantastic actor so I know he has the acting chops to deliver uh, in the role but as far as Constantine goes I, I love dark mystical kind of supernatural stuff so I'm I'm here for it man and again if, if the DC is willing to dive deeper into the more mystical aspects of their comic book characters and again give, give me constantine zatanna uh the swamp things of the world and and let's try to build this supernatural world and, and again try to get into that side of the dc which i'm always a fan of so i'm here for it man i got you um i i i'm i'm, I'm gonna give it a chance um you know i'm not in love with the character i don't know much about him other than he does magic this right mm -hmm. here is a good image of him doing his thing in one of the DC animated shows. And I, I like his character when he, he shows up. You know, again, this yeah. is the NBC series. I didn't see it. That just kind of looks corny to me, uh, to be honest with you. But <laughs> so, I mean, this looks corny, but this was badass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, I really did like the Justice League Dark. I think there's two of them. There's a part one and part two. I really did yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, I liked them both. <clears throat> And mm -hmm. he, he is one of the main characters in this. So Yeah, he's a big player I, in that, in that yeah. side of the DC world. I'm very mixed on Constantine. Half of the stuff that's been put out, I like. Half of it, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't know uh, this brother right here. Um, I, I've, I've heard of this film, uh, His House. I've heard oh, good things about great. it. Mm -hmm. and uh, I don't remember him in the Huntsman. So I mean, I'm always going to support a brother, you know what I'm saying? Just on default, you know, so I'm mean, at least give it a try. Yeah. Um. So you guys, of course, let us know what you think. Um. Neri said Constantine 2005 was the ish B. Okay. I'm glad you like you it. Go. See, I know some people yeah. out there that love it. And, and this yeah. is a, and this is a state to be a film or did they say it's going to be a TV project? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, I think this is going to be a DC series being off for the JJ Abrams produced DC series. Okay, gotcha. And uh, I didn't even really, I didn't even really get into the article that much, so my bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. 
However, the Hellblazers now being prepared for a new adventure by J.J. Abrams, who is currently developing a Justice League Dark franchise. Not only it's never going to happen. Yeah, JJ um, is just oh my goodness. He he talk about highway robbery. That man's deal, <laughs> that like two hundred million dollar five year deal he did, and like no projects have been out since he signed that. I don't even remember that, bro. Really? Oh, you remember that it was two hundred? I think that it was two hundred and fifty million they gave him for a five year deal, and he has yet to put any of those projects to to fruition. How do you get away with that? You know, man. Magic. I, I hey, <laughs> that's, he's perfect for this project, man. <laughs> exactly. Um. Let me see. Being worked, a supernatural team, blah, blah. One of the properties is a Constantine reboot from guy, writer Guy Bolton. Uh, while there has been movement on the project. So he's, again, you talking about he not moving on projects. Yeah, they're not moving on this either. It just, yeah, man. It's just yeah. some casting announcements. So we'll see, guys. Um, we'll, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I like J.J. Abrams. I like he because he did Mission Impossible 3. <sighs> I like yeah. Mission Impossible 3. He also yeah. rebooted Star Trek, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that came out in 2009. Man, yeah. I, that, that movie was a perfect 10 to me. Oh, I don't, really? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't not have any 10s. Are you a Trekkie? I didn't know you was a Trekkie. I'm, I'm not a Trekkie. Yeah. I'm not a Trekkie. I, I went in like, okay, this is a reboot. Yeah. I'm just going to try it out. Bro, I remember when that movie, while I was watching the movie and it ended. Mm -hmm. So in Louisville, Texas, I remember saying to myself, uh, this is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Wow, I cannot, I cannot, and I, but I'm not a Trekkie though, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, yes, start strictly start like I already know, um, for sure. The first shot, yeah, it was a good film, good, so. it was a good film. I don't think he, I don't think he, I don't think the franchise was brought back to fruition like they wanted it to be because as each film went on, they the box office got uh lower and lower, especially right. in the last one, which I actually enjoyed the last one the best, uh, Star Trek Beyond. Right. Um, but yeah, I think he's a better producer. Mm -hmm. Then he is a director personally. Um, but we'll see, man. I, we'll see if, if, again, if this project even comes to light, especially with the overhaul of uh, uh, Discovery coming in. They might be like, ah, nah, JJ, go ahead. You can go ahead and do something else with that. Right on. Let me just real quick before we move on. Um, would you be happy with him doing a Superman movie? No. Because I remember the Superman movie that he wrote in 2000 or, two, or 99. Um, I can't remember who was directing it, but he wrote a script that was, it, look it up, man. It, it was, <laughs> I think Lex Luthor was supposed to be from Krypton and it was, it wasn't good. So no, I don't want, it, I can't remember the name of it, but I, I don't want JJ around Superman at all. No. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, I still got to check out that Superman show on the CW. It was good, but I fell off, but yeah, let's move on. I just let... me, yeah, I can't go with CW, man. <laughs> I got you. Well, y'all let us know what y'all think. And again, uh, the link to that article is in the description box for you to read at your own leisure.